Before this video starts, just know this is a video where you can make money. Whenever you hear this sound effect, just know on the screen somewhere, big or small, there's an Amazon code for you to use. So if you're faster than everyone else, that's your money. What does this say behind me? BBQ. Barbecue, are you hungry? Yeah. Welcome back to a brand new episode of my Not So Sure Life Choices. Starring yours truly, Brendan Taylor. Behind the camera, we got my brother Jake. Hey. And I guess we're gonna be guessing a rating today. So, let's go see this food, come on. Ooh, Tex-Mex. Let's check out their menu. So what are some things that we need to try at a Tex-Mex spot? I'm definitely thinking we gotta try different kinds of meats. So they have this two meat plate thing that's 27 bucks. Doesn't seem that big of a deal, honestly, because you get two different types of meat. I don't know the quantity of it. I've never had this spot before. Well, first off, welcome. Thank you, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to try it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go for this two meat plate. So choice, what two meats do we get going for you, my man? I'm gonna go with the brisket and the ribs. Is that a good choice? Hey, so those are our top two sellers, so you're off to a good start. I like it. Okay, already. dope. I like, I like you guys to do two sides for those two meats. Any of those two right there in the middle. If you want to go more traditional, the potato salad and the coleslaw, those are solid favorites as well. The cornbread's on the money, so it's your choice. Damn, man, this is, this is getting tough already. All right, I'm gonna go mac and cheese. All right, one more for you. And uh, street uh, the, the street corn, yeah, it's gonna be sauteed off of the cob with a little bit of cream and butter. And then we finish it with mayo, tortilla cheese, cilantro, and tahini. Oh, wow. Okay, let's do it. Let's right. send it. The rib tips uh -huh. and the brisket. You got it. Can do the cornbread. Sure can. One more. And then uh, let's do barbecue beans. Oh. Ooh, okay. So we are both completely mixing it up here. We're going to try this and we're going to really leave our, our, our mark on this spot, I guess. So first initial thoughts, obviously we can't go inside, we have to obey by the COVID-19 rules and in LA they don't have restaurants open anymore, they do only outside seating so that's what we have to obey by but what do you think? I mean this guy seemed pretty nice with a mask on and everything yeah. you know. From the setup that it is right now, I don't even see where you would eat inside. Or, but, yeah, that's true too. But, <laughs> but my thing is, is like, where are they really like? They must have a big kitchen. Like to have a barbecue setup, you need to have massive barbecues and stuff. Yeah, remember that place we went to in Texas? Yeah, exactly. If you guys remember the Texas barbecue spot that we went to, like they had these big, big giant barbecues out there. Like, yeah. where are they fitting in here? That's yeah. my thing. Because we saw the back, and there's yeah. no barbecues back there. They have actually a really nice outdoor seating kind of. It makes you feel barbecue. With it, was, the it was a country. It was very vibe, country you know? vibe. But my only thing is, is like already. Ready, having the place in Texas and how good that place was. Our standards have, are high. Yeah, I have really high standards. Definitely. And I kind of ordered the same stuff too. Like, you got mac and cheese. We tried that last exactly. time. The beans. We're gonna kind of mix and match here a little bit. So this is gonna be a very good telltale sign. Like, I think I have a good tongue for uh, for barbecue now because of the spots we've hit. So. So right here we're gonna have our two meat brisket ribs. Right here is gonna be our street corn. Our mac and cheese is gonna be finished with crispy Parmesan crisps on top. Over here is going to be our cornbread and uh, baked beans. The cornbread is going to come with a whipped honey butter on the side. Served with our two meat, that's going to be the brisket and the rib tip. Just let us know if you need anything else. All right, cue the beauty shots. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. from your parents sometimes we got a bit out of okay wow this looks incredible insane comparatively to what we've eaten in texas it looks just like it does in texas i yeah. mean i haven't really sunk my teeth into anything yet so what is the rib end? the rib ends are just the ends of the ribs which have like the most fatty part i believe of the meat and it's like the juiciest most flavorful part oh. of the rib wow and if you look at our briskets man these things look super flimsy and like look at the layer of like oh. fat in there look it literally is like falling apart oh oh, oh. Oh my, my god. god. And they said that they make their butter fresh here. It's like this whipped butter, so oh, wow. You know, without any further ado, let's jump on in here and let's start trying things. I'm gonna start with my mac and cheese. I feel like that's the safest route. It's not nearly as creamy as I first thought it was gonna be. That's a little disappointing, honestly. I really was excited for their mac and cheese because they did hype it up a lot. I wish it would be creamier, that's all I'm saying. Okay. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go for the brisket. I'm gonna go for gonna it. Pour a little. I guess I'll get a brisket too then. So we yeah, can just do it at the same time. Mm. Oh my god. the mac and cheese, man. That brisket. Oh my god. That was cooked in heaven's gates. What are you? What are your thoughts? Straight off the bat. Yo, it's so like, it, I can't even speak. It literally falls apart. And the end is it's rusty. Rusty. It's so crusty and hard and it's it just like, 
the wraps end, everything exactly. together. The end of it is burnt and it's all crispy, but the, the middle of it is so tender and so soft that it literally almost evaporates in your mouth while yeah. you're eating it. And when we say fatty, it's not fatty as like a chewy, gross thing. It's like a melting like uh, butter. It's, it's just so like melting flavorful. in your mouth. It's delicious. All right, I buttered this baby up. That's homemade butter. Don't give me that face. Do it to go. I think the butter makes this. No way. Wait, right, eat that whole thing, why don't you, right? Mmm. Oh wow, that butter is amazing. The butter stands out more than the actual bread does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't get me wrong, the bread is great too. Cornbread's but, amazing. But that butter though, that, that's the crazy thing. I, I can't even explain it. It just almost seems like it was just whipped. Like two minutes ago. Yeah, like from the, the ladies. Exactly, because it's so airy inside, but then the butter just like coats your mouth. I like that. Let's try this street elote, huh? Let's see, let's see what the hype is all about it. Oh, I can see the mayo everywhere. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. That's good. It reminds me of the days when we were younger and we would stand outside of my grandma's house and the guy with the cart would come by, ringing his bell, give us fresh elote out of the big, big container with all the water, crush it down, put some butter. I never would put mayonnaise on it. The mayonnaise isn't even that bad. Try it, I know you don't like mayonnaise, but we gotta try <sighs> things here. Reminds me of Kama Sung Young Guy. I mean, I kinda like that guy. Oh, can I try him again? Try him again, fool. Ooh. What is these? What are these hand motions you're doing, man? I don't know. That's you're what, hinting at something. Yo, grandma stayed with us for too long. She always does that. She goes, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, let's try the ribs, okay? So you can clearly see the bones inside. I almost feel like you could probably just like twist it out, pull them out. Oh, those are just like the. I mean, it it, it didn't all come out, but like it, it basically did. Like it basically falls off the bone. Let's it's try. Not it. Like chili, I'm gonna, where you have to like. Oh, oh yeah, you gotta rip and tear to get it off. I'm actually. I want to try the full thing, so I'm gonna just bite into it to tell you how much meat is on it. Oh my god. There is a significant amount of meat on each bone. It's perfectly the way you explain it. You're not like chilies trying to grab every yeah. piece. I could literally suck the meat on the bone. Not saying something. I would love to see you do that. And this barbecue sauce is to die for. If they sell it as bottles, I am buying some and bringing it home. Cause wow. wow. What I am curious about is how we pay, like, do we know the prices of these? We actually had to pay before we even got the meal. Okay. So with tip, it came out to $72. What? Yes, I don't really know normally how much barbecue food costs, but these were $27 a plate, and the waters were $4, so $2 each. I mean, you do get a good helping of food. Like, yeah. this will probably fill us up, guaranteed. Definitely. And it's 27 bucks, so it is a little bit more expensive, but it's no more than going to get sushi. That's true. The one thing I will say is, I'm not sure if this place does normally have draft drinks, like by the thing. If this wasn't COVID and everything was open, I would've just got tapped water. I wouldn't have never spent $2 on a bottle. Exactly, exactly. But I do think you get a lot of meat for your buck. Oh, for sure. They're very generous with the meat. Like th like I said, this is a lot of meat. You could probably get away with having the one meat plate, and the one meat plate is significantly cheaper. I think it's like $14 or $15 compared to $27. So keep that in mind because yeah. there is other options. We did go the big boy status, and we did get two different types of meats in there. Isn't there like a bigger one? There's like three? There's even more. You can go bigger and better if you want. Depending on how much you want to eat, you can go as big as you like. Now for the rib ends. Dip it in there. Oh my god. Is it, is it dank? I can imagine, because the ribs are dank. If I had no teeth, I would still be able to eat Really? This. Yeah, this is insane. I'm just gonna dive right into these baked beans right now. Go for it, go for it. I've never been a huge baked beans fan. A what? <laughs> I've never been a big baked beans fan. Like a barbecue bean guy. Oh wow. Is okay, it good? Go for it. Literally the barbecue sauce and beans. Okay. That got me rethinking things, because I've only ever had it from like Wood Ranch. Not a fan there. No. That, that's good. All right, but either way, let's fully indulge. We'll guess the rating after. But, but for now, here's some free money. It's just straight meat, that's good. But no I think it fuss. is the fattier. Huh. Yeah. The fattier, the juicier though, honestly. Mm -hmm. I'll never discriminate. I'm, I have no words. I have one word. How are we supposed to wash our hands when we can't go inside? <laughs> I, I didn't think about that right now. I think it's safe to say we scarfed this one down. Yeah, licked it clean. I, I, I'm sorry I couldn't finish the elote. I was so full. I had so much meat. Let's get home and let's guess the rating. Come on. 
So we're back home. It's time for us to guess the rating. What was your initial rating on the whole entire experience that we had, Jake? During COVID, how it is, it is exactly. what it is. So um, the food, on the other hand, was amazing. First Spectacular. Bites, really good. I'm not a huge barbecue guy. I honestly, like, by the time I got halfway through it, I kind of got sick of the barbecue. Really? But that's just a personal that's thing. Personal. The food is awesome. I just, I'm not huge with barbecue. That, you know, that's that's his own personal preference. Mine is that was amazing. I love barbecue food. And that was on the top of the list from the places that we've eaten. And I, and that is definitely comparable. Where we had AJ's Tex-Mex was definitely comparable. So uh, what do you think about the money signs? How many money signs are we guessing here? Because, you know, it was a little bit expensive. Yeah, you said something in a prior video. I remember like it. if it's under If it's under 50, it's two stars. I'm gonna say it's two money signs. Two money signs? I don't know, man. Uh, what I'm gonna have to say is like it was a little bit on the expensive side. So I think, you know, I'm gonna join you on the two two money signs. Okay. I think I have to there because I just really do feel like it was two money signs. Maybe three, but definitely not one. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Rating, what do you think? See, my thing is, is from the street view, it's not in a ple it's not like, it's not inviting me It's in. not peeling so at all. So, you have to walk in there on and, accident. And taste or, the food. And then or, you, yeah. yeah, or look on Yelp and read the reviews. So, I'm going to have to say that it's not the highest. It's not going to be like a full five star. I think it's like a uh, four. Four star? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I, I don't know, man. The food, see, when I think about the Texas, because Texas is known for their barbecue, I think their food was equally as good. Like I almost couldn't even tell a difference from the Killins barbecue episode that we did uh, to to this. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna say four and a half stars. Like I think it's literally gonna be almost there because that was that was dang good. The moment of truth. Let's jump on in there and let's see what this is rated. Okay. So let's get a drum roll, please. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Four and a half stars. Wow. It place everyone knows it's pretty dank four and a half stars two money signs so we both got good on that and hey four and a half stars is like amazing like that's a pretty good place because there's not many places that have perfect stars Definitely. Five. and they do breakfast breakfast barbecue Ooh, i've Ooh. never had that but let's let, let's see what gave them a five star rating shall we highest rated first let's see what people say one of my favorite restaurants in the city i'm from the south and grew up on authentic barbecue these guys know what they're doing my go-to menu selections are the breakfast tacos and brisket wow that might be something Thing where we need to jump back in there yeah. and try. The best barbecue is from the South. From Texas to the Carolinas, and AJ's does an excellent job of creating a super tasty twist on all Southern barbecue. Wow, that, that's something that I actually wow. do agree with because I do feel like the best one I've ever had was in Texas, and this one's pretty, pretty good, you know? Holy poop! The sauce is amazing. What's in there? Chocolate? Like I said, the barbecue sauce is something else. It, it has like a little spice in it with with a lot of sweetness as well. It was delicious. The brisket here is super tender and delicious. I really believe it's the best in the valley. I need to come back and try other stuff. So, I mean, obviously these people really love it, but let's see what gave them a four and a half star rather than five. Let's see what the people don't like about this place. So keep in mind, this is from November 15th, 2019. We're in June of 2020, so there has not been another one star since then. Zero, if I can, for the barbecue ribs, and it's very disappointing. First, the staff are very un friendly. That's not what we dealt with yeah. there. They were very nice. I have no problem if it's pricey, if it's good, but this is no way good or delicious. The meat looked like wood and the taste of smoke, or they call it barbecue, is horrendous. The sauce, ugh, and yuck, so watery. And there is a barbecue taste to it, but not sure what it was. Like, look, it, this seems like it was this guy's personal preference. I, honestly, like I said, the barbecue sauce, I dig it. I, yeah. mean, I liked it. He seems like the guy that goes to McDonald's and eats a McRib. Right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, his, that's his favorite thing. Here's a two star. It's a Okay, nothing special. I've had better barbecue many times before. If you need a quick meat fix, give this place a try. If not, skip. I mean, look, there, there could be many different reasons as to why these guys got one stars. Maybe the food was just not on those day, but the majority of people do like this place. Yeah. So I have I have to honestly give it to them. I will say they earned their four and a half stars. Will you go back? I would definitely return or I'll postmates it. That was good. Anyways, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. As always, hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to four million subscribers and that won't be possible unless you subscribe. Trust me, I see the people who are watching my videos and not subscribed. That's kind of messed up. So subscribe, pick up some merch, brandontaylor.com. Jake has merch, I have merch. All available at brandontaylor.com, so go check it out. Until next time, I love you guys so much and keep eating good. Peace out.